about the identity of the missing museum janitor. He turned out to be 45-year-old Reed McCoy. Just to remind you, the other night, a security camera at the town's Art and History Museum recorded a paranormal occurrence. Oh, it's freezing cold. I think I'm in a pit. I must get out quickly and find some place warm. Oh, it's warmer in this cape. Hold on a second. The forest is in bloom and smells so nice, but everything's covered in snow. That's strange. Excellent. I won't get stuck in the snow now. Was that a wolf? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ellen's hut at last. Marin, are you home? Strange. Nobody's here. I wonder what's in this window. Such a huge pumpkin! It looks like someone is living here.
welcome to Namiana's Pumpkin, the best shop in the area. How could I help you? Hi, I'm looking for an old man by the name of Marin. Of course I know Marin. You're a little bit late, though. He went into the mountains with his squad. But he was supposed to wait for me. I heard that something happened in the frozen mountains. It seems it's connected with our sudden fall in temperature. Winter at the end of summer? Whoever heard of such a thing? That's why he had to leave, to figure out the source of this cataclysm. But Marin forgot something here when he left. You can take it since you're meeting him anyway. Of course, thank you. By the way, what do you sell? Everything! Do you want to buy something? Look at what I have! Always welcome. Our Well, where's the dungeon entrance? I'd better look for it.
It seems this box is addressed to Nomiana. Maybe I should give it to her? Well, well, well. Despite all the warnings, you managed to break through the blockage. I caught you, little bird. <laughs> caught by old Falner. <laughs> Hello, Susan. Remember me? Falner, you scared the wits out of me. Ah, uh, we showed those black horsemen back in the day, didn't we? <laughs> right you are. Well, as you can see, Everything is freezing. It's been weeks now. Susan, I'm glad you found me. Marin gave me the task of bringing you into the mountains. But it's even colder there than in the valley. You'll need some good warm clothes and boots. I know where some warm clothes might be, but I don't have enough money. I've got some savings I can share. And we have to fix the lever, which was broken by your minecart. Otherwise, we'll have a rotten time traveling through the mine tunnels. to be here. I think the minecart broke it. My last vehicle was wrecked in a crash. This is my new design. More durable and faster. <laughs> Darn it. There's no more heat tonight. Those are special fuel crystals, blue in color. I need to find some of it. This liquid trickling from the stalactites is called Cave Tears.
This guy is dressed like a druid from the guild. I think he's from Marin Squad. What is that beast? The same kind attacked me in the dark woods. It's a Fenron, a wolf enslaved by the ice cold power. Seems they are both dead. Fulner, we need to move on. You're right. Now we go up. I just need to lower the bridges with the mechanism up there. Oh, yes. <laughs> One more thing. It's bitter cold up there on the surface. We can't leave if you're not dressed properly.
We can't go into the frozen mountains without some warm clothing. It's so cold there that you'll... Oh, what's this? Is this my box? My parents were supposed to send me this decorative box, but the mail coach was lost due to the bad weather. Thank you, my dear. Here, take this reward. Look, a statue on horseback. Still breathing. It's useless. Well, how about a hammer? What's that noise? Old man, you're right on time. Susan, Folner, I'm glad you're all right. Good to see you, Marin. Well, I can see the full scope of the problem now. It was the frosty Tarsus. He's terrified and practically uncontrollable. We barely managed to drive him into the mountains, and we've been trying to trap him. Hurry, let's follow the squad and make sure he's caught. Hold on, we need to help the injured druid. Certainly. Don't worry about him. I'll send our brothers to his aid. Look, that's the ancient burial place of the giants. They are almost extinct now. Come on, Susan. Let me do it. Excellent. We drove the Tarsus into a dead end. Let's try to keep him there. Susan, can you see the three ritual stones behind my back? Those are the stones of the giant's gods. Let me guess. We need to activate them? Exactly. We need a special energy element for each of the stones. I've already found one of them, and it seems one of our brothers found the second element. I don't know where the third one is, though. I suspect it's hidden at the ancient giant's site. I saw it in the mountains while we were chasing the Tarsus here. Got it. We need to go back over the route you took and find that site. And the element. Right. A dead giant. He passed away only recently, but everything gets covered with ice very quickly in these mountains.
We could use the statue to cross instead of the bridge. First, I need to detonate a bomb at its base to knock it down. I've got the explosive shell, which I could fill with gunpowder. I need a key. We don't need a key at all! <laughs> barrier is a magical obstruction. It can't be crossed just like that. I've got a special promotion.
We need the three elements as quickly as possible. The dome will keep the Tarsus trapped without our help. Why did the Tarsus start to freeze the planes? Where did he come from, anyway? All I know is that there are two Tarsuses, and both of them were created by the Order of Madmen to control the cold and heat in the lands. The Tarsuses were controlled using the horns of elements. Alas, the horns were lost several thousand years ago when the Order was destroyed. Yes, that's why it's even stranger that the Tarsus spoke of it all. The horn hasn't been found. Yes, it was. What? An ancient horn was found in my world recently, and a man blew into it. What if it was the one you were talking about? I know a priest by the name of Buldan. One of his ancestors was a madman. He may know something about this. Good idea, Fauna. Go and meet Buldan. The passage to Buldan's temple leads through the secret door in the dungeons. The door activator is in my chest. Here, take the key. So we're heading back underground, but the torch is almost out. Take the scepter and insert the torch into it. It should not only prolong its duration, but also make it magical.
careful, Susan. Scalopendra eggs? I want to take some with me. These are a very precious ingredient. statue. The owner himself doesn't seem to be in. No insult, Bultan. The great Susan the War Maiden has come to you on business, at Marin's bidding. Oh, I am flattered by your visit, Susan the War Maiden. I know the Frosty Tarsas. He was created by my great, 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 great... How can we stop the Tarsus? Well, my ancestor was a madman, and he has taken part in creating the Tarsasses. My ancestor's body is buried in the crypt at the temple entrance. Please, don't tell me your ancestor is buried together with the answer to my question. It is so, I'm afraid. We'll have to open the tomb to find out the answer. But the key to the sarcophagus was destroyed long ago, and its parts were scattered. I have only one piece, but it's the most important one. Make use of the magic altar. Place the key part on it, and you can see what's missing.
the key.
two fighting Tarsuses? What can this mean? The tapestry says to pacify the frosty Tarsus, the fiery Tarsus must be sent against him. So we'll have to blow the horn to wake him up, right? Exactly. But Marin said that both horns are lost. Unlike the Horn of Frost, the Horn of Fire has never been found. Yes, because Gorasor the Conqueror, who slaughtered all the madmen, destroyed it. However, the madmen managed to hide the Horn of Frost in your world. We can make a new Horn of Fire, just like my ancestor did in his day. What should we do? Bring the Horn of Frost and a new horn taken from the head of a blizzarder, a mountain creature. Its horns were used for the original horns of elements, and we'll make use of them again. The creature's been dead for centuries, but its well-preserved body lies on top of the highest frozen mountain, beyond the wind barrier. We saw the barrier. It seems impassable. Indeed it is. That's what barriers are for. But we can trick it by taking some cold blood elixir. I'll give you the recipe, and you can use my alchemy table. Found the Fenrong's lair. Ha! Some villagers were careless enough to set a camp here. And Fenrong's killed them and dragged them to their lair. Well, let's see what they looted.
rare type of crystallized tree. We must... Oh, no! Horn of frost and a clean horn from a blizzarder's head. Susan, Fulner, I've been looking for you everywhere. The Tarsus went berserk and started to destroy the protective dome. We won't be able to hold him for long. 
What did you find out from Bolden? We need to steal the Horn of Frost from my world, but I don't know how to do it. First, I've got no idea how to get there. Second, the Horn is very well protected. They have a surveillance system. I could get arrested, and that would mean a criminal record in my world. Calm down, Susan. I know who can help you. The Goblin Trickar and the Forest Fairy Flylina. She's tiny and very smart. He is a good hunter and tracker. Go see them and convince them to help you. They live in the dark woods. You remember how to get there, don't you? Through the green dolmen in your yard, right? Exactly. The dolmen activator is hidden at the bottom of the well in the village. But before that, look on the shelf in the locked cabinet in my hut. There you'll find gear you can use to climb down the well. Here is the key to the cabinet. Folner, you stay with me. I'll need your strength. That's strange. A runestone should be in the casket. Mayrun might have put an invisibility spell on it. I might Don't worry. These stones resemble the charcoal crystal from the frozen mountains. This table must be for Antis offerings. Thank you, Traveler. 
There are two paths beyond these round plates. Solve the riddles on each of the plates to gain access to each one. Take this gift. Very smart. You Ah, ah. 
have a seat. Get yourself warm. Good. Krika came in time. These marshes have never shown mercy to anybody. Thank you, Krikar. I'm S Susan. You won't believe me, but I've been looking for you. For me? Who would need anything from a lonely goblin? You were recommended as an excellent hunter and tracker. I need to get into a secure place and steal a very important artifact. I can't believe there's a real job for him! Oh! Recover increased to everything! Uh, just so long as he doesn't wither in this forsaken swamp. He'll need his belt with his hunting gear. Mm -hmm. Oh, where did he put it? Finding anything in this mess is a challenge. I can help you. Well, not a bad idea. She should help Krikar find his tools. They must be here somewhere. Thank you. Now Krikar is ready to go. What should he do? Hold on. I need one more person for the full-scale team. I heard you have a workmate. No lies. Fly Lena, a forest fairy. She's small and smart. She can fit into any hole. <laughs> then they must go to the fairy glade. It's over the left path from the ancient Ontis. Here, Krikar has a hint for the riddle on the plate.
The path is clear. The fairy glade is on the other side. Oh, poor thing. Locked in the cage. Don't worry, I'll let you out. Hmm, what's this? A note? The ghost will get you to the other side for 50 kills. I fished the chest out of the swamp a couple of days ago, but I don't know how to open it. Fairies avoid strangers. They're here. I can feel them. Car, Is that you? <laughs> Haven't seen you for ages, pal. Who's there with you? Hello there, friend. This is Susan, and she needs our help. Professional help, if you know what I mean. Flylina, listen. This is the real job we've been waiting for. Hello, Flylina. You've heard of the calamity in the plains. I was entrusted, so to speak, to solve the problem. And if I fail, the cold will reach your forest, too. It's actually happening right now. I know. We can feel it. I'd go with you, but I can't leave my people in these hard times. Have you seen that illness has struck our precious tree? Its roots are infected with morbid moss. We're suffering together with it. Our healer, the only one in the tribe who could read, passed away. But she left a book with instructions for healing the tree. I see. I'll help you heal the tree. One good turn deserves another. Here, look at the roots. Hmm, what a strange moss. 
I'd better study the healer's book, but it's... Excellent! You saved our tree! Oh! Look! A homing pigeon! No, no, no. Don't even think of shaking off the dust from my wings. But... Well, you saved my tribe, so I'll join your team. And that's not all. I know where to find more dust. We used to have a chest with some reserves, but a bird from Mist Lake stole it. Take this sleepy flower and Toss it to the bird, but keep it away from your nose, or you'll fall asleep after your first breath in. What about the key to the chest? The key is hidden in the healer's book I gave you recently. All right. So this is your world? <gasps> Whoa! Shh! Keep it quiet. I need to turn on the light. Darn! The door is locked from the other side. What can we do?
I can use this chef to leave the room and open the door. I must stop the fan first. Hold on. I see the security camera. Don't walk into the light. We must get rid of it somehow. Is that the glass eye? Under the ceiling? I'll figure this out. Thanks, Krikar. Last thing I'd want is to appear on the news. Okay. Third Reich treasures are exhibited on the second floor. I can see a man at the table. Quicker, a camera. August 23, 11.52 p.m. Hey, Reed, it's Peter Holt. Where have you been? I had to do your job again. Uh, anyway, I replaced the CD with the surveillance video and put it into the archives. I marked the file with today's date. You owe me a box of donuts. Oh, by the way, the elevator's broken. I checked it. The fuses are out in the booth outside. Take new ones from box 23 in the basement. And don't sleep on the job. Okay, now I see. We need to fix the elevator and retrieve the CD with the last surveillance video.
There's the camera. Ah, I see it. A laser security system. I'll do it. Krikar, disable the camera. Ah, I see it. There it is, the Horn of Frost.
There it is! The Phantom Blade! Now we can cut off a horn from the Blizzard's head. That's incredible. The Horn of Frost. Frankly speaking, I didn't believe you'd succeed. Well, what's next? We'd better hurry. Not many know that the Horns of Elements were forged in these dungeons. Near the temple is the workshop where this mystery took place. The room has been sealed for a long time, and nobody remembers how to open it. What should we do then? The Crystal Ball. Now is the time to ask it for help. It knows and remembers everything. Sadrom Feyon Danaru is hidden under the floor. We must make the mechanical dwarves an offering of liquid gold for it to appear. What's going on? Looks like the Tarsas broke out of the trap. Susan, we have no time to waste. We need to wake up the fiery Tarsas. Hurry to the pedestal. Hoist the horn of fire onto it and blow! I know, but, um, whoever blows the horn sacrifices themselves. Isn't that right? 
Looks like my soul will be stuck in the fiery Tarsus. Do not fear, my child. You'll save all the innocent creatures in the Lost Lands. After we're victorious, I will do my best to find a way to bring you back to life. I will try. Be brave. All of Lost Lands is counting on you. Listen, if we don't hurry, we will all be lost. No. Susan, no! What? Fulner? What are you doing here? Don't blow the horn or you'll die! I know, Fulner. I need to do it for all of you. Don't worry. Balden will try to bring my soul back. And you believe that? Even if he can extract your soul from the Tarsus, your body will be gone. It will turn to dust. But what about all the people of the Lost Lands? They'll all die if we don't stop the Frosty Tarsus. I'm glad I met you, Susan. You're the bravest person in all the five worlds. But you shouldn't be the victim here. Where you are. Turn around, hands behind your head. <laughs> 